Hey, hello guys. This is Manar Gupta here with a guide on F2FS and how to enable it on IU Eureka. Now let's quickly go to the guide and see what we have for you guys. Now, first of all, we need to flash the latest recovery which has the F2FS support. First of all, we need to go to install and you can see up here, you have to go to install and select install image. And then select the recovery file that we need to flash. Now navigate to the folder where you have to flash, where you have those that TWRP, the link of that recovery is in the descriptions below. In this guide, I'm using the TWRP by Abhishek, which supports this F2FS support. Now, we have to select recovery and now swipe to flash. Now you can see the recovery is flashing right now and you can see it's now flashed. Now we have to reboot into recovery. Now after the reboot, we will see a U logo and the latest team in recovery. Now we have to go to wipe and select advanced swipe and now we have to select debby cage data system internal storage cage and we have to wipe all of them for a new installation of a ROM which supports F2FS. Now it will take a long time if you not if you have enabled ext4 you can use a trick the video link is in the description below for a faster wiping now now you can see the wiping is done right now now we have to go to back now we have to go to again a back and now wipe advanced wipe you have to click on data repair or change file system and now we have to select the change file system and we have to select the f2fs option present in there now the thing that will happen after this after changing the file format of data and the and the key is there will be a faster procedure the faster processing of the file system and we will not face any lags what we need now is a recovery a ROM which supports this latest F2FS support now you can easily revert back to the ext4 format by using the same wipe option now we are going to flash here the CM13 run by Hrede Sharma. Now the installation is similar to the is similar that we used in earlier versions. Now you can also flash gaps and other stuff which are normally used. You can see up here I am using open gaps. Now we have to click on reboot system and let's see. Now you can see the ROM is booting up and it's the original Sanogen Mod 13 logo. You can see the ROM is booted. Now let's quickly set up this ROM. Now we have to download an app called Disk Info, which can easily tell you about the file system that is currently running up. You can see up here while going to data, the file system is F2FS and in cage also it is F2FS. Now, Thank you for watching this video. I hear by Manhar Gupta with 
प्रणय साइंस ऑफ थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो डू लाइक डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू